the information superhighway is finding its way to all our doors. Electric cables, gas and water pipes are being joined by a new range of electronic services. It's not just telephones that talk to each other. Televisions and computers can communicate across the world. Thousands of telephone conversations and pages of the internet, together with numerous TV channels, can be carried simultaneously by optical fibres. Only a small proportion of the population is connected up, but it won't be long before information will be as welcome as water. Click on search. Ah, Scooby-Doo page. Education, entertainment and information are all accessible. The internet is available to anyone, anywhere, at any time. But do we want everything that it can deliver? The combination of telephone, television and computer is extremely powerful. Too powerful, perhaps, to be controlled. We live in a world where science has made possible things that we previously thought were impossible. My office, please. Of course, none of this is actually possible without the benefit of TV special effects. But what we can do is transfer energy without transferring matter. Now here we have an awful lot of matter, books that have served us well for centuries. But all of this information can now be packed onto a single CD. But it doesn't stop there. Just come and take a look at this. Now I can get all of that information without the transport of any matter on this screen. I can get it over the airwaves and I can get it at the speed of light not at the speed of the postman. Travelling at the speed of light, 300 million metres per second, are many different kinds of waves. The visible spectrum is only a small part of the electromagnetic spectrum. All these waves have the same properties, but it's the wave length that determines how they're used. Beyond the visible wavelengths, the electromagnetic spectrum continues. Larger wavelengths cannot be seen with our eyes, but their effects can be detected. Infrared is used every day to change the television channels. Radio waves have longer wavelengths than those of infrared. They are used to carry speech, music, images, and computer data from one place to another. There is a whole family of radio waves. Microwaves with wavelengths of up to a few centimetres carry the signals for satellite television. Longer wavelengths transmit BBC, ITV and Channel 4. VHF is used for emergency services communications and for local radio. Short, medium and long wave radio transmits over longer distances. At this part of the electromagnetic spectrum, the wavelengths can be over 1,500 metres or a mile long. All these electromagnetic waves are used for transferring information from one place to another at the speed of light. It's impossible to actually see any of these very fast waves, but there are waves that travel much more slowly. Now, in order to understand the properties of electromagnetic waves, we need to look at waves which we're more familiar with. Water waves have the same properties as electromagnetic waves. Here we're able to look at the waves in a more controlled way. A small electric motor agitates the water, generating what are called plane waves. A property of waves which is easy to take for granted is reflection. Here we can see the plane waves approaching the surface and being reflected. Water waves are a bit tame, so let's come and see what I call waves. 
We're here at Laser Point in Cambridge and we're going to see a laser light show. Now that's what I call reflection. To produce the image on the screen behind me, the laser beam is scanned across it many thousands of times a second by bouncing it off two tiny mirrors. Now to make our light show, we need to do two things. We need to reflect the light from the mirrors, but we also need to split light into its constituent colours. And we can do this by something called refraction. With light waves, a prism slows down the different colours that make up white light by different amounts. The blue light is slowed down more than the red light, and so it's bent through a greater angle. There's another very important feature of refraction. As you increase the angle at which the light strikes the block, so the wave is refracted more. Eventually, beyond a certain angle known as the critical angle, all of the light is reflected from the surface. In other words, it acts just like a mirror. This is known as total internal reflection. Total internal reflection is the means by which an optical fibre can transmit light from one destination to another. We can launch the light from a laser into the fibre and it bounces backwards and forwards by total internal reflection until it reaches the other end. At the BT Labs in East Anglia, optical fibres are researched and developed as they're the true superhighways of the revolution in communications, able to carry an astonishing amount of information at the speed of light. The fibre optic cables begin as hollow tubes of glass. Heated to thousands of degrees centigrade, the glass collapses on itself. At the critical moment, impurities are added so that the outer surface of the glass is different from the inner core, which allows total internal reflection to take place. The glass rod goes through another heating process. A pull and gravity does the rest to produce the fibres that can be as thin as a human hair. One metre of glass tube produces thousands of metres of fibre optic cable. So far we've been talking of electromagnetic waves travelling in straight lines. A less familiar property of waves is that they can bend round corners. This property is called diffraction. All waves have the same basic properties. Although we can't see electromagnetic waves, we can show that they diffract in the same way as water waves. But I'm going to hand this story on to somebody else because I don't have a head for heights. Isolated on the Yorkshire Moors, the highest freestanding building in the United Kingdom is beaming out waves 24 hours a day, transmitting radio, television and many other forms of communication. It takes as long for the lift to travel over 300 metres to the top as it takes light waves to reach Earth from the sun, about eight minutes. 